Alright, we got a kind of a day one start of doing some brown trout fishing today. I'm out with our friend Eric Miller. He's popped up a bunch of times, especially when we're chasing brown trout. So he's kind of my brown trout chasing buddy. And we're running the creeks. We're going to see what we can find. Um, this is day one. And we're going to work some pools because it's cold this morning. Actually what's going on this morning is it was frosty. We had a big freeze. I got my warmies on. The water temperature is really cold. So we're just kind of sitting in the pools. We figured the fish are sitting in here, just kind of holding out and hanging. And so we're picking a couple pools we're going to fish. And then a little later in the day, we're going to go on the hunt and see if the fish start moving and they come a little bit more accessible in the fast water. Then we'll try looking for those fish and do some sight fishing. But right now, the um, way the water temperature is, it's not worth doing it. I suspect that we probably had a six seven degree temperature drop um, on our water near, um, during the night so we got to let that come up we got to let the sun get on the water and we got to be a little bit patient so probably we'll do some sight fishing this afternoon until then we're just going to grind it on on the pools and see what we can find He keeps this up. We're gonna put him in the timeout box. Hey, Peck, it's your turn. <laughs> I suck. Might as well sit here with the camera. No offense, I don't want you to be the tripod today. <laughs> well, I ain't doing a good job of that. I'm wobbling all over the place. <laughs> My caffeine. Oh, caffeine is good. We like coffee. This is, a, this is a male. He's got a little attitude. Make, made the made the reel scream a little. Yeah, they're not big runners. At least this time of year, they're not. I like to sit and this, play. this cold water is. Well, let me find them. Well. Falling over. Be careful of the rock. Yeah, I'm gonna take a tumble. Not a good day to fall in a muddy creek. There we go. Yeah, water stirs. Pressure on him. Yep. All right. This is going to be fun. Try self netting. Ah. Right. 
Yeah. What I try to do is get a reverse position on this fish. Unicorns. And you just happened to catch one. Atlantic salmon. Son of a gun. Oh, Beautiful fish. The brew on her yeah. gill plate. Just pops. It's like turquoise. Yeah, she survived a, a lamprey attack, which is cool. Alright, y'all. Alright, sweetie. Alright, seal it. One last look. Perfect cameras on you. It's all right. Okay. Good. Go. Go back. All right, then. Here, sweetie, and you're in the net. You can probably tell right about now, I'm going to do another fishing update. River looks different. We've kind of moved to another section of river. Um, the hunt has begun. We're, it's in the afternoon. The water temperatures definitely have warmed up. We just finished up with the fish. And we're going to start covering some water, see if some fish are moving, see if we check some little pockets here and there, and look for um, migratory fish or actively moving fish. And it's definitely warmer. It's in the afternoon, blue skies, as you can tell. So we're going to cover a bunch of water. The sun's out. We're going to soak up some sunlight, get some vitamin B, work on the old man mullet, and we're going to cover a bunch of water and see what we can find. So we're on the hunt. So this morning, cold water temperatures, freezing day. Now the sun's on the water. Water temperature coming up. Um, looks like we got some fish moving around. So we're going to see if we can hunt down a few moving fish. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I was gonna say, it's kinda nice to hear that real drag again. And somehow it never gets old, does it? Yep. It's a good fish. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. You're gonna be going downstream. Yeah, well, I'm hoping I can add him into a, to make him a mistake. Do you want me to just not do the, here, here, here. Here, Ron. come here, buddy, come here, come here. We're back on. All right. <laughs> come on, Ron, I'm just trying to count him into this black water here. It's kind of half beaky. It's going to be a three-arm monkey show here in a minute. Oh. Not graceful, but we got the job done. He's a handful. Kind of plucky. Oh, good. Yep. All right, all set. Yep. All right, you ready? Yep. Day two of a couple of days of fishing. Uh, yep, kind of like same river, same place, same fish, different head of hair. Don't look so much like a fuzzy dandelion today. I got sheared. Anyways, but we're on the water today with Albert. Yesterday we we're out with Eric, so we're out with our friend Albert today. We're gonna see if we can find him a couple of fish and see what we can do. This it's pretty bright and sunny. You can see the camera shadow here, but it's pretty bright and sunny today. So. We're going to see what we can do with Albert and uh, see if we can find him a fish or two and enjoy the sunshine. You know, it's middle of November and it's kind of warm today and the sun's out. Kind of a rare day for November on the Great Lakes. So let's see what we can find for Albert today. Of course, you got rocks, trees. <laughs> You're okay. Place this to fit on here, three X. Yep. Yeah, we we my standard setup a three X ticket. We're going to get a little classy on this fish. Ooh. 
We didn't get the net shot on that one, but one on the board. Yep. Got some fights out. Oh, I'm gonna try to grab. Come here. The net. You're better than I thought. Okay. All right, buddy. See ya. Catch you later. And there we go. Can update. I think the microphone's working now. Uh, we haven't been doing a lot of videoing because we've been having to cover a lot of ground. Uh, we worked to first pool our starting spot where we got a couple of fish. And now we've just been covering a lot of ground. So we haven't had a camera up because it's really kind of hard to be hiking and stumbling and everything else you do along a creek um, with video equipment. We have drowned them in the past trying to do that. So I kind of kept it tucked away. So what I want to do is just take a minute. We're up in the middle of the... Um, creek system and it's middle of the afternoon I'm hoping that these water temperatures will warm up and and I was hoping that these fish would be a little bit more active than they are they've just been crabby today fishing so what I want to do is just kind of swing the camera around take a shot on Albert he's just down below zoom in on him and explain to him what he's doing and the presentations that we're using we've been able to pick up a small handful of fish as we've been grinding up through here so we're doing okay but we're just grinding at it all right, with the camera and angle and everything, I don't know if we can really see the angle of which Albert's working, but there's a slot down through there. And we're using a classic down and across niffing technique. A lot of, not on similar what trout, fish, or trout fishing techniques we'd be using, where he's casting it into the, into the slot, does a quick little upstream end, and just kind of with his rod tip, um, walk the fly down through. Just like what I demonstrated in an egg fishing um, technique um, tip video. What he'll do is he'll just kind of pick away at it and just comb the water and periodically he'll move up or down just depending on it and just because you think you drifted water good a step or two can make all the difference in the same spot and how that fly comes by the fish so just don't stand there and, and anchor your feet and just beat it i mean beat on the spot just work your way through it and you'll also note that he is hanging bottom periodically and eggs have to be right down into the gravel they gotta be just about rolling on the pebbles so you are going to periodically hang up on the bottom and make a lot of contact with the bottom that's normal for fishing eggs this time of the year you know, as I always tell everybody if they ain't hanging up on the bottom once in a while losing a fly I get a little nervous but that's just a technique you can see how he's just kind of moving his feet working his way down and keep working out little slots and the, any dark water you can't really see the bottom of you try to put a fly into it so that's how we're kind of working a lot of these cuts and slots well folks that'll be about it we're going to shut it down i hope you enjoyed this found a little entertaining uh nice little bit of mid and late november fishing anyways uh, see you folks see you on the river about
This is Jay at JPEC Guides in Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you're interested in any of our islands or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.